Here I have a uniform quarter inch wooden dowel with a washer on the end to keep it more or less in a vertical position in a graduated cylinder full of water. If I push the dowel down, the buoyant force of the water will cause the dowel to rise when I release it. Right now the buoyant force of the water is exerting a restoring force trying to restore the system to this position. Here's the equilibrium position of the system. I push it down here, it's away from equilibrium and there's a restoring force. When I release the system, the dial will pop up and then it'll descend again, then it'll pop up again. Now it'll stop moving after just one and a half cycles because of the friction with the water and with the sides of the container and so forth. But in the meantime, let's see what happens. We go up, down, and up. Actually, we've got an up, down, and up, and a down there. Let's watch it again. Up, down, up, down. And then it's pretty much done. Now that's not really simple harmonic motion because the amplitude keeps changing. It's what we call damped simple harmonic motion. Not because the water is damp, but because uh, the water exerts a damping effect on the motion. To damp something is to slow it down, uh, to take away by attrition. I'm not sure exactly what you uh, would, would, would use for your definition of damping, but uh, the motion is damped. And the period of the motion is not going to be exactly what you would get if you calculated the restoring force constant and the mass of the object, but it's going to be pretty close. I'm not going to do it here because it didn't work out very well when we did it before. I took a two-tenth of a gram piece of wire and set it on here and that caused the thing to go down about this far. And we measured the distance. I put a notch in the uh, wood at the level of the water. Then I let the uh, mass, or the weight of the mass, push the system down a little bit and put another notch in the uh, dowel and use that as a basis uh, for calculating the restoring force constant K. That didn't work too well. Uh, but we made a theoretical prediction of what the restoring force constant ought to be based on the diameter of this and the amount of water displaced if we lower it a little bit and uh, came out with a very good prediction of what we should observe here and we'll see the details of that a little bit later. Another system that we observe just kind of spontaneously somebody was playing around and floated there's actually a jewel case with some washers in it in some water but it's a system like this now we notice that if I and I don't know how well you'll see this but let's see if I lower this end you can see that pretty well we bob up and down this end undergoes something that looks reminiscent of simple harmonic motion so we make some measurements here. We add a washer to one end and see how far that lowers the end. From that we're going to be able to calculate the torque that was exerted to lower the end a certain distance. And uh, we're going to be able to predict the simple harmonic motion of this system using torques and angular displacements rather than forces and linear displacements. Another interesting thing we did was we changed this system slightly. We used a larger piece of styrofoam, a longer piece of styrofoam uh, of the same width and we repeated our observations uh, measuring the period of this motion one, two, three, four, we can see it bobbing back and forth and doing a similar thing here measuring the displacement of this end, the angular displacement as a result of the torque exerted about the center of the system by the force of gravity on this mass. I'm not sure whether we were actually measuring the simple harmonic motion of just this system or whether we were getting some sloshing back and forth of the water in the bucket, um, but we measured approximately the same frequency that we did for the shorter piece of styrofoam and that's not what I predicted off the top of my head 
Uh, but then as I was driving home I thought about it and realized what was going on and we'll be telling you about that system. So those are the things that we're going to talk about, among others, in relation to simple harmonic motion.